Na mtazamaji ni saa kumi saa za Afrika ya Mashariki tarehe ikiwa ni kumi na tatu mwezi wa Novemba 2017 na na saba popote ulipo natumai alasiri yako inakuendea vema karibu kwenye taarifa za mbiu ya KTN tuanze na vidokezo We are not swearing in the deputy governor because he is hungry to take over power but it is because it is a requirement of the law Mutahi Kahiga apishwa rasmi kuwa gavana wa nne katika kaunti ya Nyeri. As a government we are very committed to ensuring that we do exams in a very conducive environment. Maafisa wa polisi wazunguka mitaani kuwasafirisha wanafunzi waliokwama kwenye mafuriko huko Thika ili kufanya mitihani yao. In August it was just about confirmation of our win. Our opponents know this. Uh, you know, political problems are solved politically. And that's why NASA is pursuing uh, political methods. Leo ikiwa ni siku ya mwisho kwa wanaotaka kuhusishwa katika kesi ya kupinga matokeo ya urais kuwasilisha stakabadhi katika mahakama ya juu nchini. They have written to cap because they must come up with the standard of the gathering. Na vyuma katika barabara ya Nairobi inayoelekea fika kuondolewa baada ya kusemekana kuwa hatari. Karibu kwa taarifa kamili za mbiu ya KTN jina langu ni Ali Manzu. Kaunti ya Nyeri sasa imepata gavana mpya alikuwa naibu wa gavana kaunti hiyo Mutahi Kahiga ameapishwa rasmi mapema hii leo mwendo wa alasiri. Hii ni kufuatia kifo cha gavana wa kaunti hiyo wa Homega Kuru wiki jana katika ajali ya barabarani. Viongozi mbalimbali waliweza kushiriki ama kuhudhuria sherehe hiyo. The presiding judge, your honor, this is a swearing-in ceremony of the fourth governor assuming the office of governor of Nyeri County under the provisions of Article 182, subsection 1A and 2 of the Constitution in fulfillment of the requirements of Section 30, subsection 1, and section 32 subsection 1 of the county government act your honor you are now called upon to administer the oath of office the presiding judge the honorable jairus huh, kindly come forward to administer the oath Your Honor, the Deputy Governor is His Excellency Edward Motai Kahiga, who is now going to take office, and I will kindly request the Deputy Governor to come forward so that he may take the oath as administered by the judge. Come forward, Deputy Governor. Higa, do swear that I shall always truly and diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the governor of Nyeri County, that I shall diligently discharge my duties and perform my functions in the said office to the best of my judgment, that I should, shall do justice to all, so help me, O oh God. Wow. 
you kindly have a seat so that you may sign the oath and the certificate. Uh, as the Deputy Governor signs the oath of office, we request the wife to come and be with her, with him. Oh, she's already here. Very good, very good. Thank you. Once the Deputy Governor signs, he takes charge of the county and his functions and responsibilities are provided for in Section 30 of the County Government Act. Among his many functions include diligently executing the function and exercise the authority provided for in the Constitution, perform state functions within the county as the President may from time to time assign on the basis of mutual consultations, appoint with the approval of the County Assembly, the County Executive, Na mtazamaji tutarudi baadaye katika kaunti hiyo ya Nyeri kuna shughuli ambazo zinaendelea hivi sasa ambapo tutakuwa tunaunganishwa na mwanahabari mwenzangu katika maeneo hayo ili kutuelezea na kinachoendelea hata hivyo mapema hii leo viongozi wa makanisa kutoka kaunti hiyo ya Nyeri walikuwa katika afisi ya gavana wa Nyeri ili kuiombea afisi hiyo maombi maalum kumradhi alifanywa kufuatia kufariki kwa magavana wawili mtawalia over the governor. Yes. A blessing over every staff. Yes. Early morning ahead of the swearing-in ceremony of Nyeri's fourth governor, Mutahi Kahiga, special prayers were held right from the gate at the governor's office. Yes. As we pour oil on this place. Samani mtazamaji, samani sana kwa tarifa hiyo ambayo imeekwa katika nafasi ambayo haikufa kuwekwa ni ya kiingereza. Hata hivyo tutatafuta ili ya kiswahili ili tuku le tukulete baadaye kidogo kumbuka bado tunafuatilia na kinachoendelea katika ama kutoka katika sehemu hiyo tukiendelea na taarifa zaidi mvua kubwa inayoendelea kunyesha katika baadhi ya maeneo ya taifa inaendelea kusambaratisha shughuli za kila siku kwa wenyeji maeneo hayo watahiniwa kidato cha nne hawajasazwa na baadhi wanapata wakati mgumu kufika vituo vyao vya shuleni ili kufanya mtihani hiyo Vua inayoendelea kunya maeneo tofauti nchini inasababisha mafuriko hasa katika mitaa na kuathiri shughuli za kila siku. Katika mji wa Thika kaunti ya Kiambu, shughuli za mitihani wa kidato cha nne iliathiriwa kwa muda mapema hii leo lakini maafisa wa polisi walilazimika kushirikiana na maafisa wa kuwa elimu kuwasaidia watahiniwa. Watahiniwa wa kidato cha nne walifuatwa makwao kwa usaidizi wa magari ya polisi, mashirika ya siyo ya kiserikali na idara nyingine za serikali baada ya mitaa mingi mjini fika kupata mafuriko. We are here first just to express our concern, very serious concern about the situation you are finding yourself in. I spoke to your principal this morning at around 5 o'clock to try to see how best we could be able to mitigate on uh, the situation that is... Uh, confronting us today and even a bigger part of yesterday. But I'm happy that you, you are not late for your exam and you have been able to find a temporary solution to the situation you are in today. Katika baadhi ya shule hali ilikuwa sawa na mitaani. Sehemu za kiingilio na hata viwanjani vikijaa maji na kupelekea wanafunzi na walimu wao kupata wakati mgumu kufika madarasani. Hata hivyo naibu wa commissioner aliahidi kutekeleza wajibu wa serikali. The government we are very committed to ensuring that you do exam in a very conducive environment. Correct? Yeah. And at the same time, let us create opportunities out of challenges. These are challenges, right? So this is something that should be uh, troubling our mind on how best we can be able to get out of it. What else can we be able to do? We are going to uh, have a session with other government uh, agencies to see to it that we get a permanent solution to this problem. Na baada ya wanafunzi hao na wasimamizi wa mitihani ya KCSE kusaidiwa kufika shuleni kwa wakati unaofaa, mitihani iliendelea bila tatizo lolote baada ya kuanza wakati ulioratibiwa kote nchini. 
Kwingineko watahiniwa wawili wa kidato cha nne ambao walipatikana na rununu shuleni watafikishwa mahakamani baada ya leo mmoja wao atashtakiwa hapa jijini Nairobi huku mwingine akishtakiwa katika mahakama ya wajire kufikia sasa visa sita vya makosa katika mtihani vimefika mahakamani na mtazamaji tukiwa bado tuko kwenye masuala ya mtihani wa kitaifa wa KCSE yani kidato cha nne. mwenyekiti wa baraza la mitihani ya kitaifa nchini profesa George Magoha ameonya kwamba hatua kali zitachukuliwa dhidi ya watakaopatikana wakijaribu kuwa wadanganyifu katika mitihani ya kitaifa ya KCSE na yaendelea kote nchini kulingana na vile ambavyo vimeripotiwa visa sita vya udanganyifu huku visa viwili vikifanywa na wasimamizi wa mtihani ambao waliojaribu kufungua karatasi za mtihani kabla ya wakati ambao uliowekwa magoha alikuwa akizungumza jijini kisumu with regard to the examination process itself we have engineered the larger part of the process for the betterment of our children we appreciate the work being done by the majority of the center managers and the security agencies and the administration arm of the government but Kenyans being who we are it is still unfortunate and it is my duty to let you know that there are still a few center managers well trained teachers who still have the old habits and the habit they are continuing with is trying to open the second paper when the children have started the first paper they try to open the second paper and attempt to uh, do whatever with it my warning to them is very clear is that the government is watching and those who have attempted will be severely punished as a matter of fact there is one private school in Gilgil we have capacity to know if you open a paper we have we shall know where the paper was meant to be so even if we we discover you, you trying to send uh, an early exposure to Mandera we know where it was opened so you open your eyes you will see a school that dared Viongozi wa muungano wa walimu nchini Nat Tawi la kaunti ya Muranga wamekashifa hatua iliyochukuliwa na muungano huo ya kumlazimisha kustafu mwenyekiti wa Nata Mudzo Nzili. Katibu wa muungano huo katika Tawi la Muranga John Njata amemlaumu katibu mkuu Wilson Sosion kwa kile ambacho anasema ni utumiaji vibaya wa mamlaka akiongeza kuwa Sosion alikosa kushirikisha kamati ya kitaifa kwenye uamuzi huo kando na hayo amewaomba viongozi wasiingize siasa kwenye uendeshaji wa shughuli za muungano huo njata alizungumza katika mkutano ambao uliofanyika eneo bunge la Maragwa hasa baada ya kauli kutolewa hapo jana na katibu mkuu wa muungano huo Wilson Sosion tukiendelea na taarifa nyingine muungano wa kufuatia na mtazamaji mtoto mmoja kati ya watoto watano hapa nchini hufariki kutokana na homa ya mapafu inayojulikana kama pneumonia kwa lugha ya Kiingereza na kuharisha utafiti huo unaonyesha kwamba kuchelewa kwa kutambulika kwa ugonjwa huo wa mapafu ama homa hiyo ya mapafu ni changamoto kubwa kwa watoto wadogo hapa nchini huku ikibainika kwamba watoto wengi ambao wanaopata homa hiyo hawapelekwi katika vituo kupata matibabu haya alisema wakati wa maadhimisho ya siku ya pneumonia duniani ambayo humu nchini yaliongozwa na waziri wa afya daktari Klopa Mailu we are likely to lose the battles new approaches are required in management of many conditions including pneumonia new products are required which are more potent 
and more user-friendly so that we can combat disease. If you look at uh, the development of amoxicillin, when it was first when it was first developed, it was developed as an injectable formulation. Then came the tablets, and what has most commonly been used for children is a syrup base. The syrup requires you to have clean water to reconstitute the powder, to measure it accurately, and to administer. We know we have challenges with access to clean water. And the importance to, to improve on investment in this area. Uh, you have seen the new the, the little investment that we have done from 20 then, 2010. Kenya has moved from those 15 countries and is somewhere in the middle now right now to be to be considered you know out of this out of this out of these danger diseases so i think if we just put more effort on this especially on diarrheal control and pneumonia and put some more resources i'm sure we can meet the sdgs na alikuwa mwenyekiti wa shirika la kitaifa linalopambana vita dhidi ya matumizi mabaya ya mihadarati yani nakada John Mutudo amepaza hisia zake juu ya kuongezeka kwa visa vya matumizi ya mihadarati kwa watoto wakati wa sherehe za tuhara kwa vijana ambazo zinazofanywa wakati wa likizo hasa mwezi wa Disemba kulingana na Mutudo dawa za kulevya kama vile bangi tumbaku na pombe haswa za kienyeji zinatumika sana wakati wa sherehe hizo sehemu mbalimbali mwa taifa alizitaja baadhi ya sehemu kama vile sehemu ya kati ya Kenya na magharibi mwa Kenya kama zilizoathirika zaidi na sherehe hizo Our glad children are being forced to take that in the process of being initiated they are being forced into drugs they are being forced to take some poisonous stuff and last year alone in Russia there was a kid that died after being forced to chew the trastramonium a very poisonous plant I am aware the red forest is from uh, this week there are children there and they are taking concussion made of blood made of milk made of some plants and they are being taught how to behave like beasts they are being taught to behave like we used to do in 16th century 17th century 14th century what are we doing may i tell you and be warned that one the constitution is not all about electing the president it has a lot of provisions that safeguard the rights of a human being na tukitoka katika kaunti ya nakuru hapo mjini naivasha tuelekee katika kaunti ya tana river ambako jamii ya wafugaji kutoka sehemu ya tana delta katika kaunti hiyo sasa wana kila sababu ya kutabasamu hasa baada ya serikali kupitia shirika la maendeleo ya kilimo kununua mifugo wao ili kuwaepusha na hasara Serikali imebuni njia hii kama aina moja ya mikakati ya kuhakikisha kuwa wakazi hao hawapotezi mapato yao kufuatia ukame ambao uliokithiri katika eneo hilo kwa zaidi ya miezi mitano sasa. Ilikuwa fueni kwa jamii za wafugaji kutoka Tana Delta eneo bunge la Garsen wakati azma yao ya kuhifadhi mapato yao ilitimia. Ini baada serikali kupitia shirika la Agricultural Development Corporation kununua ngombe wao ili kuepusha majanga la hasara. If it's two, kwa saa hii ile pesa imeingia inaweza kuchukua karibu uh, ngombe 400,000 kwa hii pesa ambayo inakuja kwa hii awamu ya, ya pili sehemu ya kwanza. Lakini kama vile mnafikia ni ya kwamba eh, serikali pia inaendelea kutenga pesa nyingine kama vile mheshimiwa amesema na tutaendelea kusaidiana na hawa Said Wario ambaye ni mwana kijiji cha Handaraku ni mmoja wa wale waliofaidika kutokana na mradi huu. Saizi tunashukuru tumepata huu mradi wa serikali. E, wamechukua ngombe 160 kwa leo. Kwa hivyo hii, hii pesa tutusaidia kununua zile ngombe zingine za ambazo ziko na afya. Ijapokuwa ni mradi ulio na faida, wakazi hawa bado wana changamoto zaidi ambazo zinawakumba moja yapo ikiwa ni bala njaa. Sisi bado tunahitaji kwa sababu kuna ngombe nyingi sana magoroa na watu kuna mahitaji ya mapesa pesa hatuna pesa chakula ndio zaidi kabisa hatuna chakula watu wanakaa hivi hivi na ijapokuwa serikali hawataki kuzungumzwa mambo anjaa lakini watu wananjaa wacha nikuambia ile wazi wafugaji wa mbuzi na kondoo nao pia wamesema kwamba wangependa kujumuishwa kwenye mradi huo ili wasipoteza mali yao ambayo ni muhimu kwa tamaduni zao. Na ADC kwe ipatiwe parasato ya nguvu ili wananchi wa sehemu hii wapate soko ya haraka kwa mifugo yao. Kwa sasa hii miradi ile iko ni ya ngombe peke yake. 
lakini ikitokea mbuzi pia ni furaha kubwa zaidi kwa sababu kuna mbuzi nyingi sana hata leo wafugaji wengine wanauliza kwa nini mbuzi azichukuliwi na mbuzi kwa nyingi sana wale watu wa chini maskini kabisa ile kitu wako naye ni mbuzi kwa hivyo mbuzi pia iwekwe katika miradi kwa sababu wao pia wanakuwa wanaathiriwa na na hii mambo ya ukama wakazi hao wanasema kuwa zaidi ya mifugo elfu tatu waliathirika kutokana na ukosefu wa malisho na maji na kulingana mbunge wa eneo hili aliwario shaka hali hii imekuwa tatizo hata kwa sekta elimu kwa wazazi wengi hawana namna ya kulipia karo watoto wao Na mgwangine kwa waziri wa habari na mawasiliano Joe Musheru amefungua kongamano la Afrika Mashariki kuhusu usalama wa wanahabari hapa jijini Nairobi. Musheru kwenye hotuba yake amepongeza kuimarika kwa usalama wa wanahabari nchini japo akakosoa baadhi ya mambo ambayo anayosema yanadunisha taaluma hii. Amegusia habari nyingi zisizo kweli na hata picha zisizo stahili kunakiliwa na vyombo vya habari kama ilivyoshuhudiwa wakati wa ajali ya aliyekuwa gavana wa Nyeri daktari wa Home Gakuru Your support and participation in this conference during this period when Kenya is experiencing heightened political temperatures due to a protracted electoral process demonstrates your confidence in us and thereby helps us to reassure the international community that Kenya is indeed a safe place to be I appeal to you to be our ambassadors and to spread the good news that Kenya is resilient, secure, stable and good for business. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kenya media sector is undoubtedly one of the most dynamic, free and robust in Africa, despite pressure brought about by political, social and economic challenges. This is not happened by accident. Rather, it is as a result of a deliberate government policy to support the growth of the media recognizing as we do that a free and responsible press is a key to pillar of stability and development we have developed legal and institutional frameworks that guarantee freedom of expression media freedom and access to information article 34 of the constitution of kenya 2010 guarantees freedom and independence of electronic print and all other types of media including non-interference by the state through my ministry which oversees the media sector we have ensured that these provisions are adhered to the constitution also binds kenya to several international and regional legal instruments governing free expression including the international covenant on civil and political rights and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Kenya has respected these rights and put in place measures that provide an enabling environment for the media to operate in by providing support at various levels. For example, at the policy level, the Ministry of ICT has carried out its role by developing and reviewing policy, legal, regulatory and institutional frameworks to facilitate development and growth in the media sector specifically the ministry has spearheaded legal reforms by reviewing the media act of 2014 and the kenya information and communications act kika some of the institutional reforms include restructuring of the kenya state broadcaster this is the kbc to ensure it serves its role as a public institution that provides equal platform for dialogue and access to information for all citizens of kenya Further, the Media Council Act of 2013 established the Media Council of Kenya as an independent national institution for purposes of setting media standards and ensuring compliance with those standards as set out in Article 34, Subsection 5. Na mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama taarifa za mbiu ya KTN.